It's about finding that passion that you can just repeat over and over and over again because I know that my message is gonna spread. My YouTube channel is gonna grow. I'm gonna help more people. I wanna inspire you to do something, doing things to make your life better. What is up guys, today I'm coming at you with a really quick tutorial. The first thing to start off, we go to File, New, Sequence, then we go to Settings, then we go to DSLR, and we click Custom. Now, we go to Time Base, and we click 24 frames per second. Right here, this is possibly the most important part of the whole section. We're essentially gonna, going to switch these across, so this is going to be 1080, and this is going to be 1920. Now that we have that, we just go down. I like to click maximum bit depth, and then it's going to pop up this warning, but just press OK. And then we're ready to import our footage. So we just press OK. We go over to Media Browser, and we just, uh, you search up whatever footage you want to import. And so I'm actually just going to use this one right here that I, I picked up. Click our footage, we drag it over to the, our timeline. This warning is going to pop up. What you want to do is actually just press keep existing settings. You do not want to press change. So just press keep. So now what we have to do is actually trim it down to, to around 15 seconds. So, and I actually want to start right around, right around here. So let me just press mute. So I'm just gonna highlight it and drag it over. So then we'll bring the rest of the footage back here. And so we'll go to 15 seconds, which is around here. And then we just press the cut. And we have our footage cut. And we just delete this. Okay. You actually have to fill up the whole entire screen. So what you do is that you click on the footage and you go over to effects control and you just scale it up so it fills up the whole entire thing. Right around there. A little bit more. So. And as you can see now, the footage is compiled into an Instagram story essentially. Download a YouTube template, a little PNG. We'll just drag that on top. Go over to motion and just put that down here. I like to add words to it, a little title, so you can kind of clarify, hey, this is the name of my YouTube channel. Press Control T, which is the shortcut that I like to use, or just go over to File, and then New, go down to the Legacy Title, and just press OK. And just click wherever the segment where you want to put your title at. Now just put my channel name. I like to change the fonts. I'll highlight it. Once we do that, you can just exit out and just drag that on top. Just like that. As you can see now, the title is a little too high. So what I like to do is just go over to the position and just kind of lower it down right here. This is the Y axis. There we go. Towards the end of my videos, what I actually like to do is to give a, a call to action. So the way I like to do is actually um, cutting the end of the video towards the end right around here and then click on the footage and then go into effects and then type it in blur the one I like to use is called Gaussian blur turn out the blurriness so right around here I like to create another title so we do the same thing go to file new legacy title so now we'll just create a call to action we can put something like link in the bio we can exit out of that and just put it right on top where we have our cutout and so then we can just cut that out too and then we just delete this area and so now when we play it back We'll have something like this. Let's go over to the effects, to video transitions, dissolve, and then film, film dissolve. And you just put that right here in between the cut. It'll actually kind of smooth it out. So, 
that is essentially how I make my Instagram stories. Hope you guys like and enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Thank you.